nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Rise and signs and turns, it's Thursday, March 5th. Two more days, today and tomorrow, until the weekend. Thank goodness I need sleep and a back massage. I don't know why you're looking at me. I'm not going to give you no back massage. Fine. What is? I'll just tell my mom later. Okay, you do that. I will. Sometimes I feel like we argue like 80-year-olds. I mean, our disputes are like pointless. Same here, but hey, at least we haven't lost our sense of hearing yet. Ingrid, you're gonna jinx something. Don't jinx anything. Go knock on wood now. We're safe. Just so you know, this is glass, not wood. But okay, good. You know what's also bueno? What? Wait, don't tell me. It's the Athletes and Scholars of the Month. You're correct, <laughs> Ellen. For once. What did you say? Nothing. I let you. Okay, so I know you guys probably already know who the Athletes and Scholars of the Month are for February since they have been announcing it all week, but I'm going to tell you one more time. The Scholars of the Month are freshman Douglas Torres Escobar, sophomore Oscar Contreras, junior Rosa Yanes, and senior Cheyenne Ramirez. The Athletes of the Month are Teresa Avila for girls basketball and Andres Diaz for boys soccer. Congratulations to everyone, everyone whose names I announced. Keep up the hard work. And the congratulating doesn't stop there. We want to also recognize and congratulate the 633 centurions who made principals honor roll for the fall semester. Out of the 633 students, about 335 will be receiving certificates of highest honors for achieving GPAs of 3.5 and higher. The rest of the students, which are 298, will be receiving as well certificates of honor for achieving GPAs in the range of 3.0s and 3.49s. The certificates will be distributed in your second period of classes. We are proud of each and every one of you Centurions. Attention all club sport and program representatives. The next SLT meeting is next Tuesday, March 10th during both lunches in room 303. Be sure your group is represented. Also, if your group has not yet signed up for a lunchtime activity, please come with some dates in mind. Speaking of lunch activities, the Inside Scoop will be hosting a game tomorrow for both lunches, so stay tuned for that mañana. So don't be absent tomorrow. International Week is coming at the end of this month. You will, be, you will begin to notice some displays in the hallways sharing information about places around the world. If I were you, I would start saving up money already because there will be a variety of foods being sold in the quad by our school groups or at clubs. Inside Scoop will be selling Sundays as always, so keep your eyes alert for our concession stand by the end of this month and entertainment will be provided. Yesterday, Century had a track meet. Excuse with me, a excuse me, can you please tell us where we are? Um, Century High School. Century yeah. High School. Interesting. We walked a long, long way from home. Um, I don't know where we are ha our hands, so with your breadcrumbs gone, who knows when we'll find our way back home again. What are you two doing? Who are you? Um, we're reporting live in Century, and this is, um, I'm Ingrid, and this is Ellen. So we're live, like, now? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <sighs> okay. Confused. I'm Hassel, and this is my sister, Gretel. We are two innocent victims who are lost. If you two would help us find our way, we'd be forever grateful. Um... You gotta go, Hansel. Now, if anyone asks you anything about us, you didn't see us. Got it? Goodbye. Got it. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, guys. So, um... Anyways, we were saying before that. Just kidding. Good day. 
Oh God. <clears throat> I am Inspector Wombat, and this is Sergeant Ringworm. We we have an important emergency in our hands. We're in search of two evil children. Yes, as you have so eloquently stated, sir, this little fiend has to put to be punished by the crimes. Yes. Crimes. 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 Isn't that a five years drawing? Um, it's pretty. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. Okay. Okay. Have you seen them? Um, we haven't seen any children around here. Nope. Well, that's unfortunate. But please, keep an eye open. And that goes to all of you. Do not attempt to handle with these two children. They're very, very dangerous. Yes, if you see them, please contact us immediately. Good day. Good day. Bye. Wow, that was serious. Well, that was an interesting interruption. Yeah. Hold up. Wait. Wait. Okay. You guys, I found something. What is that? So, hmm. Well, they left something behind. I don't know what it is, but it says that the totally true story of Hansel and Gretel will be arriving at our Century's TCC on March 26th and 27th at 7 p.m. To find out the real story behind Hansel and Gretel, you definitely don't want to miss this place. Tickets go on sale soon, so stay tuned for further information. Really? Yeah. Let me see that. This sounds pretty dang cool, guys. We should go. We should definitely go see this play. Remember, guys, it's on March 26th or the 27th at the TCC. We should go. We need to go. Okay? I'm down. It sounds <laughs> like a must-see event. Okay, okay, guys. Before this, we gotta go back to our news. Wait, what were you talking about? Um. Oh yeah, I was gonna introduce a track video. Wow, a track had me here at Century yesterday, so here it is. meet against Oxford Academy. Individual athletes who won their events included Jesus Yanis, Corey Dillon, Arnold Pineda, David Adan, and William Rojas. Please congr congratulate them and come out and support them next Wednesday. Good job, guys. <laughs> okay, so in addition, good job to the volleyball guys yesterday. Our Century Boys volleyball team did not take four hours to decide the match last night at Orange High School. The players swept the Panthers in three, finishing the final game 25 to 11. So they basically won. Great effort by the team. Keep it up, guys, and good luck at the Tustin tournament. Good job, seniors. The last day for Justin to be on campus is March 20th. If you don't have the money by March 20th, don't freak out because you may also order your cap and gown and senior gifts and rings online. 
but please be sure to get your graduation gear by March 20th so you are not left out. The sooner the better. Reminder to all Key Club members, there will be a meeting today after school in Mr. Grindy's class, so, be, so you better be there. Next week is Anti-Bullying Week, and there will be a dress code for next week. Monday, March 9th, it will be put bullying to bed, so wear your PJs. Next Tuesday will be walk in someone else's shoes, so wear mismatched shoes. So trade one of your shoes with like a friend or something. Like me. No, I'm not you. We have the same shoes on. I know. Okay. <laughs> Next Wednesday will be unique, so wear your clothes backwards. Be weird and spontaneous that day. Next Thursday is I'd rather be a superhero day. So basically wear any superhero costume you have. Finally, Friday will be when you wear your century colors like blue and green. So make sure to show your school spirit next week for anti-bullying week. Ingrid, I just remembered it's Thursday. Time to show a little throwback to the past, don't you think? Um, like what? What did you have in mind? Just watch. <laughs> like, isn't that you, Ingrid? That is embarrassing. Oh my God, where did you get that? Your house, duh. That's not fair. Hey, do you guys in the back have a picture of Ellen by any chance? No, they, they don't have anything. They didn't go to my house. I went to yours. Think oh, again. No. Think again. What? How in the world did you guys get that? That's weird. That's what you get. That's what you get. Well, hopefully you guys were amused with our embarrassing pictures. But now it's time for us to go bye-bye. Like, right now. Well, you guys, stay beautiful. And remember, don't be rude. Bye! Bye.